I started out in manufacturing with concrete roofing tile, uh, from sales to um, being a technical advisor and then into management, senior management over the years, 20 years in that industry. Went into construction, so I started one of the largest roofing companies in the state of Arizona, we became the largest in the nation, uh, new construction tile, so it was a specialty. And then uh, I retired once and got bored after a year and then uh, ABC is who I bought all my materials from, so I went to work for ABC uh, in Arizona, had a branch for a few years and then went on staff as a business manager and relocated to Carlsbad. Working at ABC, uh, we did sell some buildings in California, so I was somewhat familiar with pole barns, with the agricultural and, and uh, ranching, livestock, chickens, all that kind of business that was out there. We had some of our yards that sold that stuff, so I was on the outside looking in, vaguely familiar with it, mostly with roofing. Uh, so I didn't have a lot of hands-on experience with this type of product. Obviously, I'm in one of the most dangerous fire zones in the state of Arizona. Um, we had actually had a wood-framed house already designed and into the county for approval. Um, I put a halt on it because they changed our ISO rating to an ISO 910, which is the worst possible rating, so homeowners in the small wooey community were losing their insurance. So I made some calls, um, talked to a few people in the industry that are in the metal industry, and find out about and found out about new ecosystems. So um, I thought I'd approach it, take a look at it, see if it was something that I could do. And I was very excited about the product, the fact that it was more of a do-it-yourself type approach uh, approach to it. I was going to build a garage first, but they told me I couldn't build a garage until I built a house first. So I decided to put them both together, and that's how we decided. Uh, we're on the edge of a bluff here. That's um, like I say, extreme fire danger. So the most important thing was getting the metal building with the wooey glass in the windows, fire rated doors, and so on. It was actually very easy. Um, the, challenge, the challenges were taking a stick frame mentality and couple that with metal building. So you don't have bottom plates. You, you, uh, run girts and purlins and, and there's different terminology and so if you just keep an open mind and look at what everything's called uh, I don't use in walls side walls girts and these things so once I got you know Ron helped me with the terminology and what was what we got on the same page it was very easy